video to a previous video that I had posted called how to use the UPS API with OAuth 2. In this video, I'm just going to walk you through some example code that I made uh, more detailed um, so that you can uh, hopefully get this figured out a lot easier. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the UPS, uh, go to Google and type in UPS API. Once you're here, you're going to go to the UPS Developer Kit. And that'll take a second to load. I want you to go in the top right corner, click the little person icon, and log in. So go ahead and log in. Uh, once you've logged in, you're going to see your little icon up here. Go ahead and click that. You can see it's blue now. So press that and go to, uh, let's see, actually go down to View Developer Portal. And that's the person icon that I'm looking for. So you press that, you go to Apps, and you're going to press Create an App. I already have a couple of apps in here, but for the sake of example, I'm going to create a new one. So we're going to add apps. Um, the I need API credentials because I want to integrate UPS technology into my business. It's a fine option to pick. Choose an account to associate with these credentials. This is the account number uh, for whatever account you want to use. Um, so in my example, I only have one account. So I'm going to use that one, press next, and you're going to fill out all the information about who to contact. So I'm just going to fill this in. Uh, you don't need, I'd like to subscribe to API status update emails, check to specify. So you're going to press next. Oh, phone number required. next all right so now it's going to ask you which services that you want to uh, apply to you need to apply to the authorization OAuth server so this is a must-have and then any of these other services from UPS you'd like to use you can but the co code we're going to be um, using today is for the rating service just to get package pricing shipping information. So we're going to press a little checkbox on that and we're going to name our app. So you can name it whatever you want, but um, I'm going to name it test. And for the callback URL, this literally doesn't matter as long as it is a HTTPS enabled URL. So you could literally write Google on here. So we're going to go HTTPS and backslash backslash www.google.com now the reason that this doesn't matter is because the way that we're doing it today is we're getting our authorization token directly um, every time we make a call to their API um, and that's the reason that this doesn't matter so we're just going to press save um, we're going to accept the terms which I have already read in depth, so there's no need for me to stress out about that. Now we're on the screen here. We've got a client ID and a client secret. And because these, this is just a test app and I'm gonna be throwing them away anyways, um, I have no problem showing them to you. So you can press a little eyeball and you can see the client ID. Now, the example code that I am going to be using uh, is right here. I will have a link to the GitHub. And you, all you have to do is replace the client ID with the client ID on your screen and the client secret with the client secret. And then also you have to put in the UPS account number for the account that you're, you're using. So like I said, that was given to you on UPS. Um, it, you, could, you can see it in, on your account. So yeah, you, those are the three pieces of information that you need. And then you can save that document. This is a PHP script. This section, these notes right here, this is just information about what all of these codes mean. Um, so the, the shipping service options that are available, 
you, these are basically like the shipping speeds. So 14 is uh, next day air early AM, 01 is next day air, 13 is also next day air, um, you, 03 is ground, like that's how fast you want your packages to show up. Um, they also have some international shipping speeds, which I think that you need if you're going to be shipping internationally. And then, uh, so these are the codes for all of those different things. And then we also have the uh, package types. You, see, you can use those later. You can see there's number one's a bag, number two's a box, number three's a carton, you know, a crate, drum. These are the different types. Okay, so where do you plug these numbers in? So we've got the package info. You can see the service, which is the shipping speed. We got that number from up here. So we're using number two, uh, zero two, which is second day air. Uh, the package type, again, we got this information right here. What is the, the package type? And then all it's asking you is for the weight of the package, length, width, and height. Uh, this array right here is the name of the shipper. So this is the, the account that is shipping the package, the information for the account that's shipping the package. This is kind of like who's paying for it uh, almost. Um, the from address is where the package is coming from and the to address is where the package is going to. And all of this other stuff down here is just functional stuff that has to do with connecting to the UPS API. And at the bottom here, uh, is an example of the code being used. So basically you're just going to have a variable which is the access token. It uses the function get access token with the client ID and client secret. So now that we've got an access token we're going to use uh, get the total charges for that package which is using the uh, get shipping cost uh, function and it has the access token shipper information shipper info, ship to, ship from, and package info. And then we just echo that out onto the screen for the total charges, which is this. And so if we save this, we come over here and we load that file just by refreshing this. You can see that we have our total charges and you can use this number um, however you want in your PHP application. So yeah, this code will be available for you to use. You can totally use it. I'm not hoarding it at all. Um, and if you have any questions about it, I would refer back to this uh, other video that I made, how to use the UPS API OAuth 2. This is just kind of going over the example code of how to implement what we talked about in this video. Um, yeah, and the code is available for you. So if you have any questions about that, you can leave it in the comments and I will talk to you guys later.